Well, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you hit that bell and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell for the notification squad. And if you want to run ads on the channel, go to jordantowermedia at gmail.com. Email me to promote your mixtape, anything like that. Anyways, guys, today we have Gucci Man. Okay, now Keisha Kwar, or what K-O-R, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. She is going on a media run trying to uh, battle the claims that were against her in the wedding and, you know, the the mystery around her kids and, you know, all this stuff, right? Now, a lot of people will say, oh, she's going on a promo run for her TV show on BET. You would do that before the TV show aired. You wouldn't do it when it's, like, in the middle of the season. So, and it's just that this was, like, a wedding special to pay for the wedding, right? So... She's going on this media run. She she's been on every outlet. Uh, the the obviously they hired a you know publicist. She's on Wendy Williams. She's on uh, she's on all this stuff. And I think okay, she's saying let's go through let's go break through it now. First and foremost, I want a positive note. It was good she was there for Gucci all those years because he probably wouldn't have made it through jail. Okay, so we got to give her that. Okay, but. Things get a little weird after that. You know, like, I like Gucci, man. I like his music. But, yeah, as a person, he's cool. You know, I worked with him in the past. I It's like you know people at certain stages of their life. So I knew him back then. I don't really know him now, you know. So he's a different person. But uh, so she said, first she said that blogs were paid to discredit her. And Angela Lee said, who would pay for that? That's a good question. Who would pay for that? And I, you know what? I think... This is what I think. I just thought about this now. She's married to Gucci Mane now. It's it's not just it's never just love. Like sometimes girls use people to come up, you know? And I'm not saying she used him. I'm sure there's love there, but she's going to she is going to become somebody. And maybe they put the new maybe they've been baiting this so she does do media runs and she's seen more and people can and then she becomes Everybody wants to be a Kardashian, right? Ever since the Kardashians blow up. And she would make a lot of money becoming a personality. And she could do that through the hype of this marriage in Gucci Man. So she probably, publicity, publicity team, we've seen this. Most stars do this. They put fake news out to hype themselves up so they have to respond to it. So it seems like they're being attacked. And in turn, you start following their story, learning more about them. And then all of a sudden, they have a fan base, and now she could spin off with her own show or sell, you know, do a lot of stuff. So I think that it was all planted for this to happen because, you know, she said something in the interview. She said, you know, Envy Scandal came out on Snapchat, and Envy joked about it because it probably, you know, it was, tr- it was fake. And she said, I knew it was fake because you didn't really respond to it. You just kind of laughed it off. She's responding to the Kia... A uh, girl talking about she had kids in Jamaica, were the kids and everything, and she responded to the the sister claiming when the sister put out um, the, this girl she called her sister, which is probably her real sister. She said they were just sister friends, but they would say they were real sisters. Even on the uh, even when this girl responded, she said yesterday was a bittersweet day for me because I watched my sister, the most beautiful bride I've ever seen, walk down the aisle to marry the love of her life. We always dreamed about the big day, but I never would imagine this day would happen without me. I can't ask God enough how a bond I thought was so strong could be broken. My heart is filled with so many unanswered questions. You are my sister, my friend, my mentor, my confidant, and you know nothing in this world I wouldn't do for you. And it embarrasses me that I'm not there. And like, okay, that happened. And then Gucci's brother came out. He wasn't invited. This was a this was a BET. This was a, a a wedding for TV. You had people at the wedding that didn't even have relationships with these people. Like uh, Chris Brown's ex girlfriend was there. They, I saw a lot of people there that are like, there's no way they know these people. Like TV celebrities and everything. It's like these people were planted there for the wedding, which is fine. I mean, you know, it's it's TV, right? So Keisha. She she went on this rant right after Kia came out and said, talked about the kids. And she said, I do not have three kids in Jamaica. But she never shows her kids or anything. like. And then she tries to cover this up like, I left Jamaica when I was 10. How did I have kids in Jamaica? Nobody said you had kids in Jamaica. People said you had kids and you sent them back to Jamaica. Okay? And, you know, I don't care about that, honestly. It's just like, why lie? You know? Like, 
you could tell when somebody's lying. I would never question Waka Flocka and his relationship with his girl. That seems so genuine. Okay, so genuine. I wouldn't question. This just seems off. And then she says she doesn't have a sister. I'm an only girl. I have three brothers and one is dead. Okay. Um, then she talks about flipping the money. Gucci gave her the money. Uh, it's like. I don't know how much money Gucci had before he went to jail because Waka Flocka said he didn't really have that much money. He didn't even have a house. He was living in the studio. And I'm sure if he did give her money, I'm sure she invested it. Now, they're saying she flipped $2 million to $6 million. This girl should retire right now from whatever she's doing and become and work for Fidelity or a hedge fund and start flipping money. Because if you can flip money like that... You're in the wrong business, okay, of entertainment. You should be, you'll make a lot more money if you can flip two million to six million. You should be able to take six million right now and flip it to 30, you know, or whatever that, you know? So, like, come on. I mean, you know, it's just calling facts. I'm not hating here. I'm just like, I see what's happening, you know? Like, like I just see what's going on. Like, so then um, she went on to talk about Gucci's rant. And about her when he, you know, he remember that rant right before he went to prison? He was like, real, recognize real. If I'm lying, tiny, pretty, and Keisha Dior, a church girl. Um, I, I screwed these hoes, uh, blah, blah, blah. I break hoes and make hoes, ho uh suspect and fear me. Remember, I got a sack video. Gotti Malaya Yorkis, Keisha Cure, Jessica Cure. I fucked them all. He was going off like that. She said she forgave him right away, right? And it's like, okay, that's cool. But like that rant, he, he Gucci was talking about when, um, because yo, she said she's an angel. You cheated on Gucci Man with Go Gotti. I'm not saying Gucci Man wasn't cheating on you, but you cheated on him with his best friend Yo Gotti at the time, and that's what caused them to break. A lot of people will say, no, it's the him dropping on 1017, that had nothing to do with it. Even Gotti was like, what are you talking about? That was like, we could have talked off off air with it. It was really emotional, like where Gotti and Keisha slept together and Gucci found out about it and, you know, he was in love with her. Radio interview, right. nothing like that. Then he got on the radio and said something. Mm -hmm. That's when they were like, okay, I don't cross that line. Like, it, it's... You know what I mean? It, it'll never be like we cool no more. Now we go bang his girl. <laughs> I had already done that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that was your. So you bangs your partner's girl. Yeah, we got <laughs> it. Yeah, my friend. Man. Now. Gotti said he didn't know like they were serious like that because she was a video vixen. The way they met, she tries to paint it like Gucci, you know, flew around to some video or in something. What happened was Gucci Man did a song with Rick Ross. Keisha Court was with Rick Ross at that time. And she came to the video, and that's how they met. It wasn't some, like, romantic thing where he flew around for a video. You know, it was kind of, like, along those lines. But people can rewrite the history however they want when they do these interviews. That's why she's going... It, it just makes you seem guilty when you feel like you have to go on a, a press run to refute everything. It's like, why? You know? Like, if it's not that... Serious, I mean, you've hit every media outlet. <laughs> I, 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 I know that was your wife. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. like, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't know like you know like you love and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. I got come you. on, man. You yeah. know how the game go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I don't know what you think. I think you was in the right. <laughs> but shut up. No, because I mean, listen. She she had told you know Gotti goes on to say that you know he asked her like are you guys tight like that you and Gucci and she said nah and then they did it you know like he, <laughs> I don't know it's very weird then. um she v reveals, this is like the crazy part. She reveals there was no prenup because Envy asked. She said, no, he trusts me. I was like, oh, man, this guy is screwed. This is exactly why Rick Ross didn't get married. To Remember he popped the question to Lear Galore, the, the video model? He backed out of that right away and he said, I came to my senses and I left because, you know, it, it's dangerous, man. Even if you have a prenup, you're not you're not safe. You're not safe out here. I mean, it's... Marriage is scary, man, because you never know the motives. I mean, I've seen plenty of divorces, and it, it's just scary. I mean, you know, I love love, man, but I, it, that gets scary because now you can lose a lot, you know. And I, I, I'm not fooled by this fact that she's rich and Gucci's rich. I know Gucci's rich, okay, but I'm sure she did had a decent business where she was making a hundred, two hundred thousand a year, but not millions, you know. Maybe she was. I, I, I highly doubt it, though. I mean, you know. 
ever since uh, she's been with Gucci, she's had nice cars and everything, even before, you know, Gucci would spoil her. Um, and, you know, and again, I'm not trying to hate or anything. I'm just calling facts facts, man. Like, it's just, when I watched the interview, I was like, it doesn't even seem genuine. You know, like, why would you, you know, it doesn't even seem genuine. Like, you're going out of press run to refute this specifically. I think it was set up to introduce her to the entertainment industry for real. You know, like, she's been a, a figure, but now it's like, she's going to have her own character in entertainment industry. Um, then, you know, she said that's not her sister. From Blogs did not get paid to discredit her. What? You know, this isn't the Kardashians, okay? Uh, blogs might have been paid to pretend to discredit her to start a storyline. But uh, I don't know. And then, you know, Waka Flocka, ugh, you know, it's just, I don't know. Info. I ain't see him act like this with a million mouths. Coming, like, I'm like, he just came out the blue like a lame. I'm like, mm. yo, you was lame the whole time? Like, it's like he used you for stepping stools. He got, he got a history of that, though. Mm. Like, when I first met him, a lot of people told me, like, yo, he go across you, he crossed his best friend, he crossed his mother, he crossed his brother, he crossed his cousins. Like, you like, nah, I'm not, not us. Mm. And when that happened, it's, it's like you already knew it, so I've been prepared for it. Like, I, you know, Walker confirms that, you know, Gucci man has a strained relationship with his mother and his brother because he crossed them. And that's why they weren't at the wedding. They weren't even invited. They, he's not even trying to make amends. And then they, she keeps talking about these kids are usually the ones doing the Snapchat and everything. Come on. Nobody's believing that. Okay. <laughs> nobody's believing that your kids are living in the house with you and they never, ever get seen or anything. It's just, it's just people tell People who try to repaint their own thing. You know, Wendy Williams asked her the hard question. Every, and th this is how I know it's a, it's a rebuttal and it's all planned because every, th there was a lot of media training that went into this. Every, watch, watch all our interviews. Just watch them. I'll link them below. They're all the same. They're, uh, they're rehearsed. Okay. Now, I hope that Gucci man doesn't, I hope this lasts and they just keep a bond and, you know, she comes up, she comes up, but I hope Gucci Man doesn't get taken for half of his money. That's all I'm saying. But uh, we'll have to see what happens. Um, again, I'm not trying to hate. I'm just, you know, she responded, so I'm reporting on it. And I'm breaking it down for you guys. I appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys on the next video. Appreciate you guys so much. And, um, yeah, and make sure you hit the, the bell subscribe, hit the like button, guys, okay? And if you want to advertise on the channel, hit up jordantowermedia at gmail.com. I'll check you guys later. Peace. Thank you.